In this video, I'll show you how to add and use the color overlay effect using the Layer Effects Studio in a Finley photo on the iPad. So here we are, this is the final video in my mini Sonic series where I've been looking at the effects inside the Layer Effects Studio. Today is all about the color overlay effect, so let's get into it. As always, we're just going to bounce into a Finley photo. And we're almost finished and today we're going to look at the color overlay. The color overlay is a really really powerful layer style, something which I use quite often. A very quick example is this yellow or any color really. If I wanted to change this yellow, I would go into the layer studio, I would click on the layer in the FX guide. Again, we can go into the layer FX simply by clicking the Wii FX or if we're on the layer by clicking in layer effects here. It's got a few styles associated to it. If we click on the color overlay and activate it, boom, straight away it's changed it to black and it's put a really, really different dynamic on this. It's nearly like a shadows colors or something. If we replace this Sonic with shadow, that'd be a quick change, but we're not talking about shadow today. We're talking about Sonic and the color overlay, Andrew. Not many options here, so this should be a quick video. With the blend mode, the opacity and the color, We'll go to the opacity first. Obviously, it just changes the opacity of this black color. By default, it's set to black. So by changing the opacity, we're just changing the opacity of this color overlay. We're changing the opacity of this black. So by bringing it down to zero, we've got what we had, the yellow color. If we bring it up to about 50% or so, it's it's 50% it's black. So that's why it looks a wee bit, like the yellow's a wee bit muddy and 100%, it'll bring it to full black. We can click into the color and really change it to any color we want. That's how it looks red, pink, purple, blue. We'll maybe see if we can grab it uh, Sonic's eye color here. That wee slight greeny color. Yeah, so, something like that. And again, by putting it down to zero, it's got yellow and anywhere in between. Really, for color overlay, if you pick the right color, you shouldn't really need the opacity unless you're using the blend mode. So we'll maybe change it to, we'll change it to this nice red color. And if we make the opacity about 72, it'll give a good example of what the blend mode does by just clicking these different blend modes. You can start to see an effect in it in different ways. And depending on what color you choose, the blend mode will look a wee bit different. Normally for the blend mode, I keep it to normal. I keep it to 100% and then I full, full use of the color. So I'm maybe uh, put it at white. I'm going to go into the Layer Effects Studio and I'm just going to take it off. That's color overlay in a nutshell, what I've showed you. But just for fun, we'll try to duplicate this banner and put a white line into it just to kind of show you why. I would do that or explain why. So if we're clicking the banner, that's us there. Again, Andrew, you really should be naming these things. We'll maybe just name it while we're here. These three dots, go into image, type in banner. So that's our banner named. We'll click into these three dots. Now select it, duplicate it. And we'll maybe just change this to white banner or white line really. So by going to the layer effects, by going to color overlay, by default it's black, we we'll want white. And with that's done, it's, it's changed the whole banner to white. So it's not, if I just turn it off, it's not taking into account the shading, which is good. It's a good point, which I should have made in the, la, in the, the earlier explanation. It's just going to take the entire shape and make it the entire shape's color. So if I go to color overlay, Boom, straight away, that's white, and it's not taken into consideration these wee graphics or the shading. The same thing, if we go into our Sonic layer, Sonic's got uh, two layers here, his hand's part of a layer, so if we go into the color overlay, part of his hand will remain, and that's because it's on another layer. We can change that into any color we want, but we don't want to have Sonic like that. So I'm just going to go into our white banner. And if we just look at the original, the original has a white line going through the banner with two blue stars. 
I'm maybe going to slightly cheat here. We're not going to have Sonic, and we're probably not going to, or we're not going to have the Hedgehog. We're not going to have Sega. What I might just do is just do the white line on this top banner. We'll maybe get to this bit, but just for the sake of time, we might not. So I'll hide that. A very quick cheat here is by having the move tool selected. If I actually just move this banner down or scale it down from, I'll do that again, scale it from the top. If I scale it roughly into the center and then if I click this one at the bottom and scale it down, it's, it's keeping some of these proportions right. And although this isn't looking too good, we'll, we'll come to that in a, in a wee minute. But it is giving us a white line in the middle, which isn't too bad. We're going to go into masking very soon, but by clicking mask layer, it's made our white banner now with a wee drop down. If I click into the mask layer, change our color to black. With mask, if you have the color black, it'll it'll rub out, or not rub out, but it'll, it'll hide whatever's below it. And I'll, I'll zoom into this because we don't want this wee bit. If I make the hardness about 75, so it's quite hard, and I'll bring up the, the brush, brush size quite a bit. That's not bad there. So I've just taken away that sharp edge. And that doesn't look too bad. There's a few wee issues, but we'll do the same the other side and we'll we'll come to these issues in a wee second. I'm just trying to be quite precise, but by doing a quick stroke down here, hopefully it That's not bad there. And then we'll just colour this in, which is really hiding it. And this banner's not too bad. I'm not just so happy with this corner down here. That's a wee bit better. So that's looking quite well. We still have the outer shadow. So if I take that off, that's keeping it more true to the original. Seeing we've squashed this down a wee bit, there's a wee bit of white here that's annoying me because it's, it's, it's this here, but that's white. So I'm going to cheat a wee bit. So we've got the layer selected. And we're just going to, oh, we're just going to color this in white, just so it's a bit easier on the eye. Now, even though that's looking quite well, you can see there's red here. This here, red, is much thinner than this red. And it kind of looks like a white line at the minute going across rather than it should be curving with this. And really, in, instead of doing all this, we could have just done a white a white bar. But just so we're working with the colour overlay, that's the way we did it. And I got a, a great comment from Tam Tate. And Tam was suggesting about using li the liquify tools in the banner and that's a great, great suggestion, Tam. And we're actually going to look at that now because what we could have used the Liquify tool. Well, I'll, I'll show you in a second. But by using Liquify, we can we can push and pull some things a wee bit. With um, none of my tutorials to this date, I haven't even looked at the Liquify tool. So up here, we've got the Photo Persona, the Selections Persona, and the third one over here is the Liquify Persona. I'm not going to talk about it too much at the minute. I'm just going to show you the basics because I'm just making sure that before you activate it, we're on we're on the right layer here. We're on our white banner la layer. So while we're in the, the white banner, we'll click liquify and simply by using the default, if we just push down, you can see that's just pushing, liquifying, so to speak pushing things down and you can see our wee grid here moving down. Now obviously that looks a bit odd. We're gonna push things up and we're gonna do we're gonna do lots of mad stuff here and really start to pull things all over the place and that's that's looking at an absolute mess. It's a lot of fun, but it's looking a bit like a snake or something we've got on on here. Uh two fingers to undo this. Do we get back to where we were? So liquify, we're going to push and pull things. 
you've maybe heard of Liquify in the news where you've got some celebrities, I'll not name them, but they use the Liquify tool to, uh, or maybe not them using it, but people they know that use it just to change the shape of their body. And I'm choosing my words carefully here, so <laughs> not to get called out, but uh, they, they change the shape of their body, making themselves look a wee bit curvier, or maybe, just maybe, even a wee bit thinner. And it's the Liquify tool which is used to do that. So Liquify, it just changes the shape and you can do it as, as much or as little as you want. We're just going to very quickly look at it here at the minute, but by bringing the width up quite a bit and it's nice visualization of bringing that up if we bring it up quite a bit and that's all i'm really going to do for this and just click in the middle of this banner and just bring it down and you can see that's dipping oh two fingers done do that's dipping it down a wee bit what i might do is just make the width even more and by clicking the center of this i'm just pulling it down i'll maybe let go there and i'm just trying to make this red look consistent at the top as it is at the bottom and that's looking really well there's a wee bit of work here we could do and a wee bit of work here but i'm happy enough with that we're going to do a split view which is nice we've got other parameters here which i'm not going to touch in today we'll do this in a separate video opacity hardness but just the split view this will show us very quickly the before and after so before it was quite a straight line and then after if we bring it to the middle you can really see what we've done we've just dipped it down and that just makes it look more natural we're not going to worry about these white bits we'll maybe just put these blue stars in and before we do that we hit apply that's it applied and that's it looking really really nice now we'll put two blue stars here i think i'll do this for this wee tutorial so we'll, we'll go into the layer we'll pick one of these stars we'll go to the three dots and duplicate it and bring it down you can't see it because it's probably tucked in below yep it's tucked in below these banners so we'll bring it to the top and if i just look at the original the blue stars kind of round at the edge and i'll maybe just make this a wee bit bigger again one finger we'll keep it in proportion And maybe don't let me just put it about in the middle there and that looks that looks really well i'm really really happy with that as it's we'll click on it and that will if you're on the move tool you can select different things if i select that duplicate it again simply by dragging it over this red line will tell us if we're in the right location. Oh, two fingers to do that. We'll click into that and that nearly. That looks well there too. I'm going to do one other slight wee thing. I'm going to try to fade this so it just looks ever so slightly to give it a wee bit more of a curve because you can see this is a red banner, but here it's a wee bit darker red. I'm going to try just to blend this white bit in this is being very very picky but if we go back to our white banner and by hitting mask now by clicking mask layer by going to our brush tool let's see we'll bring this up nice and big we'll change it to black a video and masking is coming soon but we'll bring the opacity down to about 25 percent the hardness down to zero and if we just paint this here, we can actually, that's too much, we can make it feel as if it's blending this layer in just ever so slightly. I'll do two fingers on dual. Maybe make this a wee bit bigger. And that's quite nice. The only thing that's happening now is I don't like this outer glow on these two stars. But by all we've done, and again, a video on masking is coming soon. We're going to turn, oh, wrong layer, Andrew. Our white layer, or our white banner, we'll, we'll click this wee arrow down. We'll take away this masking. 
and you can see before it was a pure white. What we've done really by just painting in, we've mastered away, or really we've rubbed away some of the some of the layer just to reveal some of the red underneath. And I think that really, really looks nice. Again, the only thing I'm not happy about is these two stars. I'll maybe just remove the outer glow completely from these stars. And I think that looks much, much better. And I'm glad we took the time to do this white line and to add the stars. And we are almost finished. In fact, that's it now finished. There's lots more we could do. If you spot something, let me know in the comments below if there's something I could have changed or maybe something I missed. I know we didn't add in uh, Sega or we didn't add in the Hedgehog. But from the initial concept of wanting to take this picture from the Lego box, if you remember in video one of the series, and try to make it look quite realistic by trying to use every layer style, I'm really, really happy how this has come on. And it was a really fun project to work on and hopefully you enjoyed watching it too. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this series and hopefully you picked up a few tips and a few tricks along the way. Let me know in the comments below if you like this mini series or if you would prefer tutorials independent of each other moving forward. I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video and please feel free to subscribe to this channel as there's lots more videos planned coming out very soon. Thanks for watching, hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.